it, folks. You better be ready to work harder than you've ever worked in your lives. We've got the shows of fire and desire. The fire went out a long time ago. You are not going to believe what I did today. Dad, I don't want to be in your game. I want to be a singer. Uh, how did this crazy idea come about? Because it requires getting like 65 song clearances and everything else. This movie had many origins. Um, one of them really for me was the central character, Buster Moon. And I, I started to think about what's the line between kind of the, your imagination and conning people. And that, you know, because when you're imagining something and you're trying to get everybody enthusiastic about it, you talk about things as if they're real, um, but they're not yet real. They're just in your mind. And out of that came this idea of, um, of Buster Moon. For me, the real ignition point for this film was sharing these ideas with um, Garth Jennings, who wrote and directed the film, and who had made a film a number of years ago that was released through Paramount Vantage called Son of Rambo. And when I saw that film, I just was absolutely charmed and, and knew that I had to work with him. And so when I started to talk to him about this idea, he, he seized on it. And through the, through the process, though, what he started to do was he started to relate to Buster from his perspective. And so the character began to evolve as Garth and I began to, you know, to, to craft the story around it. How are we doing with those flyers, Miss Crawley? Oh, good to go. Oh, oh, oh. This will be the biggest hit show this city has ever seen. Oh, oh, oh. Everyone gets a shot at being a star live on my stage. I'm here to win. And then to bring all these other animal characters into it, each one, though, has their own unique signature sound. But even before you get to their sound, um, it, it, it goes to uh, the work of our brilliant uh, character designer, Eric Guillon. And Eric has been behind many of the most you know, memorable designs from the last 10 years of movies that we've done. Hey, with me. Wow. It's the most amazing thing about making an animated film is the iterative process. So you have these, you know, you have these ideas that are pouring out of Garth's head. You've got a designer who brings them to life in, in, in what I think is just the most charming and distinctive way. And then you start bringing other components in. You bring these brilliant voices of, of Reese and Matthew and Taryn and, you know, John C. Riley. And each stage along the way, the growth and the evolution of the character just manifests. Like the wind. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at her butt. One of the things that you'll notice when you see the film is that many of the songs have um, unique interpretations uh, and all of our cast did their singing. This movie is unquestionably sort of a three-legged stool between story and words and acting, music and visual expression. <laughs> 